Oh, how's it going? If you're wondering why I look like junk, if you're watching this, if you're listening, probably doesn't matter. But I just got done running. I ran four miles today in the rain. It started running, started raining while I was running. Oh man, there's something about running in the rain for no reason at all. It's like like how your uh, ex- your girlfriend or something you're arguing, then you, you you leave, and then you're like, oh, but I love her. And you run back, it starts raining, and you're like, oh, I really got to figure my life out. But I was gonna have a guest. I was going to have my buddy Cortino on. His name's Tino, but I was going to call the episode Cortino. Is that Cortine? No? Cortino? Well, I'm going to try to get him back on because I was editing the video and the, the sound was just garbage on my end and uh, on his end, which that's understandable because for some reason I went, my I downloaded Zoom. That's what I did. That's where I ventured out to. And Zoom, it looks like it's going to work out into my favor to where I can have good audio because I was using audio through Anchor, and it was terrible. It was garbage. It was My mic was staticky. He was staticky. And it's just, it's rough to listen to. And I don't want to put y'all, I don't want to put you nine through that misery. So I was like, you know what? Uh, we tried, and we, we, we got to talk and, and stuff. So we'll have, I'll try and get him back on next week. I texted him to see what he was doing. And, of course, uh, he didn't reply. So... I'll I'll get back with him and tell him to download Zoom, make an account. It's free. I know he'll do it. He'll have to if he wants to come on the show. And then during the quarantine, I can have a guest, and he'll be my fifth guest. And I've known uh, Martino. I met him in Lexington. He was a great guy. He is a great guy? I don't know, really. I mean, maybe not. Maybe so. Uh, but we're just going to tell some stories and stuff. And But I'll bring it back. I'll do it next week. But I had to do an episode. And if you're wondering why I'm a day late and a dollar short, it's because I was trying to work on this, and it's just so bad that I was like, I can't put my listeners, I can't put my viewers through this. So I was like, you know what? Let's throw that in the can and do it, redo it, and I'll just come in and talk about what's been going on in my life and what I've been thinking about. And when this quarantine's over, I hope we're going to start. Uh, maybe for the first few episodes, we should just go ahead and, if I can get Cody to do Zoom, we'll start Too Far Gone on Zoom for the first couple episodes. And just see how that goes. But we're almost done with the quarantine. So by the time I get everything set up, it might all be over. So we might not even have to worry about it. But that's neither here or there. You know what I mean? to power drive this 20 minutes <laughs> that's a wrestling reference but who am i kidding i don't watch wrestling anymore i don't keep up with it it's just not my forte anymore you know what i mean i got a lot more going on and plus who wants to watch wrestling without fans who wants to watch anything without fans i never knew how much the fans really help out the sport if you want if you if you don't have fans at the sport that's basically practice right isn't that just a practice or a scrimmage? We can call it a scrimmage. I mean, this year's NFL, if they don't let fans there, it's going to look like my high school football team. We never had fans at the game. It was just a whole bunch of empty ble- Hey, mom, is that? Mom, is that? No, that's just that's just a flag. Wait, waving through the wind. That's not my mother up there in the stands watching me play, watching me lose. And, um, but back to what I was saying about, back to what I was saying about Zoom. I'm going to get Zoom. A run for my money. You know, because it's free. And if you don't know what Zoom is, I just found out what it was this past week. Because with the quarantine going on, people are just, you know, how people, they're running Zoom ads like like it's a vehicle that you can go fast in. I'm like, what's this Zoom everybody's talking about? Kids are doing it for school. And I was like, let me check it out. Let me check it out. So I downloaded it. I should have went that route in the first place. Because the problem with when I was trying to do the episode with Martino via online... It wouldn't let me download the audio. I had to go through a website. I had to download Chrome, go to the website, then I could so I could download the audio. Then I could only use or download. I can only do thirty minutes at a time through the Anchor app, which is cool. Yeah, it's cool, but it's just I need more time than that, man. And the audio came out terrible. 
my mic sound like I just got this mic. I was like, ah, come on now. So I'm going to get it together, though. You know, you know how it is. It's, it's all about the baby steps in the right direction. Oh, speaking of baby steps, I did not want to run today, man. I was just dreading it. Plus, it, it wasn't raining all day. And then I kind of put it off. I cleaned my apartment. Could you, you know what I realized about having a clean house or a clean apartment? I don't like calling it a house because I don't want you thinking I'm more than what I am. I'm not saying if you live in an apartment, you're less than a house. I'm just saying it's not a house. That's how I feel about it. I don't live in a house. And also, I've never really imagined myself living in a house or owning a house. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like those things in life where I'm like, it's hard for me to wrap my brain around I deserve that. Not maybe necessarily. I don't know. It's just hard. I mean, it's like when I bought my first nice vehicle. I was like, man, I'm allowed to do this? I am allowed to own something of value of this stature? I was like, let's go. I was real nervous when I bought my first car. I was real nervous. But I cleaned my apartment and all that, and it's just... I've I've noticed something when when I don't clean my apartment for like three or four days and all of a sudden I walk in I'm like, have I been robbed? No man, you haven't. It's just a mess. And I was like, oh, it's just a mess in here. It's just a big old mess in here. And I was like, maybe I should fix that. Maybe I should fix that. And then that's what I did. I fixed it. You know, I cleaned it up. Did did some time and the, you know the what you have to do to. I don't want to become a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder at all, but I wouldn't want to be a hoarder. Man, could you imagine being a hoarder? If you're a hoarder and watching this, how do you do it? Like, your brain has to be in all kinds of area. Because I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a psychologist or anything. But there's something to my surrounding. If it's in, if it's not, if it's not in order, it, my brain. it's hard for my brain to be in order. If I walk in, I got... Oreo wrappers, I got cheese puffs, cans everywhere, I got what else, sweet tea bottles just hanging around, and the problem with when it comes to sweets, because ever since I started running, alright, today, I was like, you know what, I'm putting the sweets down, because there's something about running that just gets me, man, I'm like, let's go get some cookies and some sweet tea and some Oreos, some Reese's, everything that I can imagine, and I'm like, dude, that's what I need to do, that's what I need to do. I just want sweets when I run, man. What is that about? Because I haven't ran, <laughs> I haven't ran my whole entire life. Basic. I mean, I ran during football, but I've never voluntarily ran for any reason until now. And now, man, I'm just like my. The more I run, the more my sweet tooth comes into play. It's like, hey, bro, let's go get some sugars. Let's go get some sugar. And I don't mean kisses. I mean some. Not. I don't. I'm not also a fan of Hershey kisses. But I'm, I don't know what it is, man. I'm just like, dude, I can't be out here. I can't be out here running and then going eating sweets. So today, I was like, I put my foot down to myself. I cleaned my apartment, getting it back together. You know, I ate healthy today. I'm going to get back on track because I want to get ripped. I don't really want to get ripped. I don't care about it. I just want to, you know, I just want to be in shape for the meantime that I can. You know, I've never really been in top shape that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get in the best shape that I can. But I cleaned my apartment, did that, and I've been thinking about doing this. Because um, I like doing I like doing podcasts with people in person, of course, because I like, you know, I like the mannerisms, like seeing how you're feeling. seeing, And you can all do that on, on online, but it's also a kind of a delay. You're not really, you're talking to them, but they're not really there. You know what I mean? It's like having a long di- distance relationship and they live in Florida and then, you live wherever you live and then say it's like 1500 miles away then you finally meet up and you're like well this is quite weird that we're in person now i'm so used to seeing you via online through a computer or iphone or a a galaxy and it's weird that you're here in my face now i don't know how to deal with it so that's how i'm on the other side of that i don't know how to deal with it being online which you know i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do so whatever Whatever, I'm going to figure it out. And then maybe that will open my horizons of uh, interviews with my friends or people in general. I'd like to interview I'd like to interview some interesting characters. Dude, if I could get the world record holder for um for um for the Rubik's Cube, the guy who saw the Rubik's Cube in like 5 seconds, I'm pretty sure that's still the world record. I I want to get that person. Come on, man. 
You know, speaking of Rubik's Cube, I bought a picture. Because my, I don't, I hope I didn't talk about this last week, but my friend showed me a picture that his was a, of a deer, and it's one of those, um, uh, it's like a five piece picture, and it's like boom, boom, boom. It's all to make one big picture, but it's five different pieces. I was like, that's, I like that. He has it above his couch or on his wall. I think it's on his side wall. It's above a couch, I believe. It's somewhere in his house, okay? And I was like, dude, I need one of those. But I didn't want to get a deer on the wall. Not, not nothing against uh, having your, a deer on your wall. It's just I wanted one of my own for myself. So when I see it, I'm like, that's me. So I got one with Wally. You remember Wally back in the day, little robot? Had to go on some adventures out in the world. And there's a little a clip of when he picks up a Rubik's Cube. And he's like holding it. I got that image. I got him holding the Rubik's Cube. I was like, this is dope. And I bought it for 30 bucks. And there was only three sizes. Size one, size two, size three. I got size three. Don't know what it's gonna, how big that is. No measurements at all in this. Just size one, size two, size three. I was like, well, one sounds kind of small. Two might be a little too small. Might be medium. I don't know. Three. I mean, three sounds like it could be big. Might still be small. I don't know. I might get five little pieces of a portrait that I wanted. And if I do, I'll just put it like in my bathroom. I don't know, man. I'll figure it out. That's what I normally have to do. You normally have to figure it out. And you know what I didn't figure out? I didn't figure out to plug in. Didn't figure out to plug in my um, computer. So hopefully I got 12%. Hopefully I can make it through this podcast without any interruptions. Oh, I really need to get after it. Man, this whole quarantine's got to be over soon. It's got to be over soon. I am nervous. I am hesitant to see... The businesses that do not open. <sighs> Man, it's just, you know, the small businesses might take a hit after this one. My camera, is my camera lopsided? That thing's looking mad tilted, you know what I mean? It's like, I can't tell if it's straight up and down or it looks a little, hey, my camera is had a couple too many before it came into work. You ever wonder how odd it is to talk to yourself in a microphone with headphones on by yourself weekly? I think I'm starting to go insane, man, or women, or woman, or non-binary. Who out there is listening? I saw that 1% of my listeners are from Australia. What's that about? Dude, if you're from Australia, let me know. I want to come to Australia. Is it worth it? I don't want to get beat up by a kangaroo, man. I did karate two days for two days back in like eighth grade. No, I was younger than that. I was like fourth grade. And I did karate for two days. Got kicked out. I mean, they... (laughs) They couldn't hold your boy in there. Also, my brother beat me up, so maybe he, he was the problem. Maybe he was the problem. He always beat me up, man. But not like beat me up, beat me up, but I would antagonize him, and I think I could fight him. And then it didn't ever, didn't really ever work out in my favor, and that's why maybe I learned a valuable lesson. Some things you can't control. Some things you can't conquer. Oh, But I'm going to conquer the Zoom, man. I'm about to get these. I want to have, like, Snoop Dogg. You know, Limp Biscuit is that a whole? That's a whole group, right? Yeah, yeah. We have all of them on there. Whatever. Um, but I did a video with uh of Bobby reacts. I think I'm gonna start that. Just do like, cause I'm not a big big fan of um reaction channels. Not saying I'm not a big fan of them. I don't do reaction channels. I just feel like it's not. I understand it for sure, but it's just not. There's no creativity to it. I was like, I I like to be creative. I want to be creative here. So I was like, I'll create a character that watches, that reacts to stuff. And I think I'm going to find a video to react. I think I'm going to do that once a week because that's pretty simple to edit. That's what the whole idea of reaction channels. All you got to do is put a camera in your face. But I'm, I'm going to try to bring as much co- comedic value that I can to it. That's what I want to do. That's what I like to do. I like to laugh, you know. You know, my whole idea of life is to suffer in the darkness so you can shine in the light. Put that on a fortune cookie, man. Oh, it's just uh it's just a grand old time we're gonna have and we're what, five, six months into this month, I mean year, and it's just this month really has been a this is a year we'll never forget. Isn't that insane? This is also and oh, I'm ready to get back to the gym, like I've said before. I'm ready to get podcasts started. I'm ready to get life in general rolling. I gotta do something, man. You know, what what did he say off of um, uh, Remember the Titans? You ain't nothing, man. Huh? Gary Bertier. Oh, man, what a great movie. 
And it's just, man, I'm really excited that I found out about Zoom, though. I was like, dude, I'm about to zoom, boom, boom, all these interviews. I don't want to call them interviews. They're just, it's just having guests on. We, I don't really, I'm not, who am I going to be interviewing? Although, if you are uh, want to be interviewed and they won't let you on the Ellen DeGeneres show or Steve, Steve Harvey don't have a show anymore, does he? Oh, man. Wendy Williams, they won't let you on their show. Come on here. Talk your shit. You know what I mean? On here, you can curse. You can talk about whatever you're feeling. You can laugh. You can don't don't cry. I mean, I I wouldn't judge you, but you know, with the whole idea of people crying on camera, it's just like how it's just hard for me to imagine myself looking into this camera and be like, I can't believe that she left me, or I can't believe that it's water, and or wait, what? No, I can't believe that it's butter. <laughs> Man, I really need to stop messing up so much. Uh, but it's just like, it's just I got all these lights around me. It's not really that serious. It doesn't feel that serious. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like R. Kelly was like, he's like, y'all, y'all keep, try, keep messing with me, man. Sound like Chris Tucker, man. Oh man, I am. I'm getting hungry. I'm trying not to. So hopefully work slows down because I've been working, working, dog. You know, I know everybody's out there working, but. Man, I've been putting in time. Putting, I've been punching the time clock, and I'm just exhausted. I've been running, been trying to do a whole lot, been trying to read this book, and I just got to keep it moving. It's just a whole lot of butter my way, you know what I mean? And it's just, I really wanted to use this, um, use this podcast that I did with my buddy Tino this week. But I was editing it, and it was just, it was terrible, man. It's just, and I know it, I shouldn't be so worried about the quality of it, but man, it was quality garbage. Oh, also, I did a skit with Bobby, which is a fictitious character that I made up of him talking about uh, a girl that I liked in a skit. Like, I was playing me. I think that's what I want to do. I think I'm going to have a character, make a character, and then play me, and then kind of, you know, just. Maybe how I'm thinking about doing a skit, and I'll have it be like a running joke of having me run into all these situations with these characters. You know what I mean? Like, I have an idea to do a skit with a guy. Uh, you know how you see those guys in public you don't want to talk to? I'm going to have a guy, a character that I'm going to make up, running up, being like, hey, is that you? And I'm going to be like, oh, man, I'm, gonna, I'm about to go run. And then I'm going to be like, put my headphones in. To ignore what he's saying as he's as the music playing, he's gonna be telling me about a fight that he got into. But all I can hear is the music, and I'm gonna have the music overlaying what he's doing, and it's gonna look like he's just telling a story as he's like fighting somebody, and then he's gonna be doing all that. And I'm just gonna be like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Oh man, if I could sing, you wouldn't see me in here. You know what I mean? Peaches and cream. Did y'all see? My buddy sent me a video. Maybe I can play it on here real quick. At the end of the show, my buddy sent me um, a rendition, remix, I guess I should call it, of um, of um, uh, that old school song, Peaches and Cream. And I watched this thing so many times that it was just outrageous. And I'm g- I want to play it on the podcast so that everybody, here it is right here. Uh, that's uh, Cornell. Go look him up on Instagram. He, it was a well, that was a great video. And I was like, man, the the choreographing and all that, and the way they videoed it, it was just perfect. And obviously, I don't know if he's a comedian or an actual singer. I'm sure he's a singer. But man, that was that remix of uh, Peaches and Cream about the quarantine. Oh, he really hit it. He hit it, man. He hit it out of the park. I was gonna say he hit the nail with the hammer. 
He hit the nail, the last nail in the coffin. Man, my expressions have been whack lately. But uh, I guess I'm gonna let that in there. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna get Martino back on for. We're really we did an hour, and it was just it was great. But it was just the audio and all this, and I'm just gonna have it. I think we can through it do it through Zoom. If you don't know what Zoom is, and if you it's a video conferencing app, and uh, it's free. So if you need to, I I wonder if it would be better to do that instead of like FaceTime and stuff because I mean I'm gonna find out eventually so hopefully next week you'll find out so um oh also man what is it with I had 10 subscribers for two hours and then somebody bounced it's like okay okay so I was filling up the Sprinter van I'm not sure how many people you can fit in a Sprinter van but it's got it got to be close to nine and then the tenth came in. I was like, we can fit you in the back, though. We got, we got one more. You can fit in here. We got you. We got you. And he said, No, you know what? I think I'm gonna go home. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that how it works around here? But y'all, uh, y'all stay, y'all stay classy, as Catchfish Cooley says. And I'm gonna get out of here, man. Just keep it pushing. Push it to the limit. <laughs>